This is the town of Corning, New York. It has a population of approximately 12,000 people. Now, the name should sound familiar because this is the same Corning that's responsible for making Gorilla Glass. I was recently invited to Corning's reliability and testing labs where they run routine tests on its own glass as well as competing ones. All of this is done to ensure that their products live up to their claims. After the visit, I will certainly say that my outlook and appreciation for Gorilla Glass has changed dramatically. For Corning, there's more to it than just making the glass. Okay, so there's a reason why Corning's Gorilla Glass is found in many of today's devices. It's just the best at what it does. Gorilla Glass 5 is one of Corning's most recent products, but at its testing labs, I got to see what happens behind the scenes. This isn't the first time I've visited a testing lab of some sort, so I was pretty familiar with some of the tests and demos I saw there. Of course, this wouldn't be a Gorilla Glass tour if I didn't see its scratch and impact resistant qualities for myself. Trust me, it was fun breaking the various glass from the competition. But through it all, Gorilla Glass managed to hold up time after time, reinforcing the realization I already knew. Many of the tests I saw were controlled tests, like how they have custom made machines that drop devices from varying in heights and angles onto a rough surface of some sort. They do this for all the obvious reasons, not only to reinforce its superior qualities over competing glass, but also to uncover reasons why glass is still capable of failing. So given Corning's reputation, it makes perfect sense why they do the things they do. It's all for the name of quality assurance. Like I said though, everything is bound to break. That's just the reality. Even the hardest of substance, take for instance sapphire, which is known far and wide for its scratch resistance, will eventually succumb as well. There are reasons why that happens. Microscopic imperfections, both visible and invisible to the eye, are the root causes to why even the strongest of glass can shatter or break. And when you throw in some other outside forces, such as applied pressure, tension, heat, and even chemical exposure, such as swimming in a pool, they can all impact the glass negatively. For us smartphone owners, our screen shatter because of something we do, like clumsily dropping them while texting and walking. One of the biggest eye-openers during my visit was how Corning scientists are able to determine the exact reason why they fail. We met up with scientists that work in the fractography department. These specialized scientists inspect broken glass to determine the root cause of failures. Using high-powered microscopes, it almost seems like they're the NCSI division of the labs because they see what can't be seen. Just like our fingerprints, each shattered screen tells its own unique story. And these fractography scientists can inspect the various patterns and impact areas to make a determination. Pretty cool stuff if you are to ask me, seeing that there's quite a lot involved when it comes to the nature of glass. Again, we can't stress about how Gorilla Glass on our smartphones and other mobile devices are underappreciated. It's more than just a rectangular piece of glass slapped over the touchscreen display. Sometime during the halfway point of the tour, I came to the realization that the aesthetics plays an important role with the glass's strength and integrity. Think about it for a second. One solid piece of glass is manufactured to reach a certain standard. Once intentional imperfections are introduced though, such as those cutouts for your home buttons, the earpieces, and even curved edges, the integrity and strength of the glass are modified so you can truly bet it has lost some of its resistive qualities. This of course is a tough balance because you know that the development process for a phone is extended due to these modifications. The engineering is unbelievable when you think about how the strength and integrity of Gorilla Glass has increased with each iteration while continually becoming skinnier. There's a reason why Gorilla Glass is used by more phones than anything else. It's no coincidence that billions of devices leverage it. You can say that the tour was an insightful experience that made me realize that Corning has and continues to invest a lot of its resources to the research and development of Gorilla Glass. For them, it's more than just shattering glass for the sake of quality control, but rather they're doing all that because they want to strive for perfection. So I gotta say, the tour over at Corning's Labs was an experience of its own and definitely made me more mindful about the glass on our devices. So if you guys want to learn more about Corning and Gorilla Glass, you can check out our website, androidauthority.com. This is John V, signing off.